10.2, we're going to work on selecting our brand or our theme, the colors, the fonts, the style, uh, the layout. And this assignment is designed to help give you some practice on working accurately, working efficiently, and just thinking about the actual site map before you drop in any of the content. So you're gonna do an itinerary, up, or you're, excuse me, you're gonna do a little advertisement banner up here because we wanna to try to sell something. We're trying to promote your vacation spot. We're gonna do a little um, logo here. You're going to save your fa favicon, which is kind of cool to be able to do that as well. Um, and we're just gonna kind of look at a couple of things. You're not actually gonna put in any content in your pictures. You're gonna do a photo gallery. We've got our little uh, collapsible group here and even a couple of buttons and a carousel. So let's get started with this project. It's as simple as from your classroom and we are now in task, we are in task two from your Google account grid. All you need to do from here is look for sites. And if you wouldn't have it there, remember we can find more in the workplace or ask your teacher but it should be there for you. It's called Google Sites. It's kind of a blue purplish icon. And we're gonna walk you through some things. We want you to be able to see that there are templates in here. And that really can be much easier than just starting with a blank. So we're gonna go with the template gallery and we're gonna have you scroll down to this one that's called Project because so much of this is done for you if we know how to use the templates. All right, so we're in our project. What I want you to do, this, this is all you need to do for task two. We're now in task three. What I want you to do is name your project. So right up here where it says project name, you're simply going to call this one 100 hours. And make sure you spell it. You can always go back and correct it. In, and then you come up with the city that you're gonna do. And I'm obviously going to use Detroit as my example. You should have your own city on there. And then name your site, and that's kind of right here with this project. That's like if this were a document, that would be the file name so that you can find it in your Google Drive, and we will do that again, and we will do that in 10.3. But name this one. This one's gonna be your first name, not my first name. Your first name, your last name, and you're gonna call this 100 hours. And that's really important because like I said, when you go back to your Google Drive to find this, you wanna name it in such a way that you could go back and find it in your Google Drive. All right, now you're done with that task, task three, just naming it. We are now on task 3A. We're going to access the navigation settings icon gear. We've talked about these things so many times. That's right here. This is your gear right over here. It's called a navigation. You're gonna click on this one. We don't wanna just edit the logo because we have a couple of other things that we're gonna do. So we're gonna click on this one and we're gonna get lots of options here. Navigation, I don't want it to be on side. We wanna make sure this is at the top. Now when you click on top, notice that the navigation buttons are gonna pop up here. Home, history, team, FAQ, and 10.1, we talked about this. You're just creating a one page or we call that kind of a, like a landing page for this one. So we want those at the top. We're gonna to get rid of those. We're gonna make sure they don't show in just a little while here. All right, but now we're gonna to go to the fun one here where it says brand images. Before you can make yours apply, you have to get rid of this little leaf. So send that one to the trash. And then with all of your resources there, we can now go to upload, go to photo library, decide which one you want. And yes, you could change your mind. Think about the colors of your site, your brand. If you don't like the color yellow, you probably don't want this one. I'm gonna go ahead and do this car as my logo and click done. All right, I'm not quite done yet though. Notice how it pulls four colors here. You can always change your mind on this, but for now, just click on one that you like. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. When I click on this one, it's going to automatically apply it to the simple template and I say this a lot if it looks simple it probably wasn't keep it short and simple these are some really good key things to know when you're working with a new piece of technology 
All right, so we've got that there. We can always change it. In fact, you could change it at any point in time to different colors, but we want it to mesh with our logo. All right, now we're gonna scroll down here. Oh, and you know what? Alt text, if you don't know anything about alt text, we have people who use technology who maybe have visual impairments. They can't see, but they can hear. So it's a good idea to put something on there like admire brand car so that they know, hey, if they were to hover over that icon, they would know what, that that's a car and that this is created by Admire. So put an alt text in there, and then we're gonna do a favicon. Please make sure we're gonna keep, this is about branding, getting a brand for you. Here's the car right here. I'm gonna use the same one. So I'm gonna to go to Upload, Photo Library, and I'm gonna use that same red car. This is why your resources in your files and your folders are so important. All right, so we have our brand, we have our car in the favicon that's gonna show up right here, just like this car did here. And then you can simply, oh, I'm not quite done, I'm sorry. Um, we aren't going to do anything in the, let me see here a second, favicon. You can go to view tools, you should know those are there. We're not gonna do anything with that. Analytics is a lot of fun. That tells you who's viewing your site. Um, and you could make a site where people are actually going to be able to access this. But announcement banner, we do want that. That's this one that's right here at the top. We're gonna wanna do that announcement banner. And all you have to do for that is just simply type the message that I gave you for this one. You're gonna say, um, I think I wrote it on your sheet. I will write on there what you have to do for your announcement banner. It is right here. We can customize your trip, contact us today. Oh, I did write it on there. It's right there in task 3F. We can customize your trip, contact us today. And then when you get that done, it's gonna say button label. And I said you could type either itinerary or schedule. It's the same thing. And then I tell you to link it, and this is really important. Link it to the history page. We're gonna get a link that'll take us right to that history page. And then I say open in a new tab. You can always change that. That's all you need to do for that. You're gonna close this. We'll see the results later, but here is your your banner when we, you can check this to see if it works. This will pop up once we publish. That is your task three. Task four is where we're actually going to work with this publish. And this can be so tricky because students don't take enough time to really think about what they're doing. All right, so we're gonna click on our publish. And when you get that, you have to write a web address. And once you do that, that web address is going to show up here in the URL. So I want you to do your first name, and it's gonna automatically put it all in lowercase. That's what URLs will do. They want it very simple, no mistakes on the typing. You're gonna do your first name, your last name, not my first and last name, your first and last name. And then I would say put a little hyphen here, 100 hours. It's not gonna really like spaces. You can try doing that. This one's already taken because I've already done a practice, so I'm gonna put Lisa K. If that happens to you, it'll tell you if it has been taken. And so if you have to make some tweaks, and then once that's in there, once you have that in there, select the Publish button. It may take just a little bit of time. Now, you don't, aren't going to see anything, all right? But we're going to go over here at this point. We're now into Task 5. You're going to select the View Published site right here. View published site for task five. All right, when you do this, you should have your banner, you should have your car, you should have your favicon up here. It looks pretty sweet already, all right? If you don't have the favicon, talk to your teacher. Well, wait, usually if you let it set, it'll show up. It sometimes is a little slower to uh, get that to sh show up, but it will eventually show up. If you click here in the URL, you should also see your name in that address, which is pretty cool because cool, it is an actual website. All right, how do you get back? You're, in, you're actually in the view, seeing this, what it looks like, 
as a website or how it would look on a phone. You could also look at your phone or your iPad. To get back, you always click on this little pencil down here at the bottom, and that's always gonna take you back to your edit view. That takes you through task five. Task six, we're reminding you to keep it simple. Um, this is the most expensive or most valuable part of your website, this area right here at the top. So in task five, excuse me, task six, since this is a one page site, um, oh, I'm sorry, let me see here a second. Yeah, we're gonna go over here, kind of got ahead of myself. We're gonna go over here to pages, right here where it says pages. We want these to be hidden. We don't want any of these pages to show. They're still gonna be linked, but they're just not gonna be on our home page. So we're gonna go to pages and make sure you don't delete them. But over here in our options, we're going to go to hide from navigation and you'll get an option here where it's gone and you can see it disappear here. We're gonna do the same thing here, hide from navigation and the same thing here, hide from navigation. All right, so once you get rid of those, we don't have to hide the home because that is the home page. That is all you need to do for task six. All right, task seven says we're gonna practice publishing this. So let's see what happens. We're gonna go to our view published site, just like we did last time. Now, when we go to view published site, it looks like our pages are all still there. Why is that showing up? That can be super frustrating using Google Sites if you don't understand the tools. So we're gonna go back to edit. We're gonna, now we're gonna go to publish and you're going to go to review changes and publish. It won't make the changes until you click on that review changes. It'll put it all here and then it will go back to publish. Now you can always change it, but you can't actually view it unless you've made those changes. Now when I'm here, that navigation bar is gone. Understanding that concept makes using Google Sites so much easier. All right, that is it for your task seven. Come on back for task eight and we'll do a few more things. All right, we're gonna select that pencil again. We're back into our edit view. We're going to have you share this. I want you to be able to share this with me so that I can have access to your website. That's how I'm gonna grade it or your teachers are gonna grade it. So this is that universal symbol for sharing. We're gonna click on this share. And when you get here, you have to just type in your teacher's name. So if your teacher is Admire, you're just gonna type in Admire and it's gonna pop it up right here. If it's Ayersman, you're gonna type in your, her name. If it's Ms. Wu, Ms. Wu, Ms. Finley, type those names in, just your teacher. Now your teacher doesn't wanna get all of these email messages, so make sure you deselect that notify your people. You make sure that's in there, make sure your teacher is the editor. This is so important. Now we're gonna copy at the publish site link. It's gonna say it's copied, and you're gonna click on share. All you have to do now is go back to your assignment, go to your 10.2, go to your view instructions, and you've done this a gazillion times. Add or create, we are adding a link. You're gonna do a command V as in victory to paste, add the link. I would say check it to make sure it opens. And then all you have to do is add a comment and turn that in, and then your teacher will have access to your site. All right, as we said, we're gonna come back. We're, that's your theme, that's your basics. Go ahead and close out of that. You're done with 10.2. Come on back and we'll go on to 10.3.